If you want to find out the potential of the upcoming Revolver Structure Deck and how it could be one of the best Yu-Gi-Oh! Structure Decks of all time, you do not want to miss this video. Before we get into this, I'm Blade YGO, and if you guys want more content like this one, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to stay up to date to know when my videos come out. With that, let's get right into this. So when we're talking about the potential of the Structure Deck Revolver Structure Deck, we need to talk about a few things. First off, Rockets right now and why they're good and bad, we need to talk about the direction this deck could go in if it were to be tier 1, and we need to talk about the potential reprints this structure deck can have, so that way we can talk about whether this structure deck will really be next level or not. So to start, let's talk about Rockets right now. Why are Rockets good? Well, everything flows when they are destroyed. They can either be destroyed by battle or card effect, and the way they float is during the end phase of the turn they they were destroyed, they can special summon another rocket monster from the deck. So that means just in general, they are floating bodies. The rocket monsters are technically inherent plus ones depending on the circumstance. So for example, if you're destroying a rocket monster by the effect, for example, their own effects, which when rocket monsters are targeted by a link monster effect, they become inherent plus ones through the method of either sending a monster on the field to the graveyard, sending a spell and trap on the field to the graveyard, etc. With that in mind, they also can be just destroyed in general in order to get their plus one through floating. So basically, the idea and the concept of it is every time a monster gets targeted, they will blow up something and then they will be used as quote unquote ammo in order to destroy something the opponent controls or do something to the opponent. And then you reload that ammo by special summoning another rocket from your deck. Some other things to keep in mind is they have some kind of crazy spells, to be honest. For example, they have Quick Launch, which is a essentially an emergency teleport for the deck. They have Squid Draw, which you can destroy a rocket monster you control to draw two, which as I just described with them floating, this makes Squid Draw even more crazy because essentially Squid Draw is a plus one. If you destroy a rocket monster you control to draw two during your end phase, you will get another rocket monster back. So you are essentially gaining card advantage at the cost of tempo. However, Squid Draw can be an amazing combo ender because if you already have a rocket monster as I've described earlier as rocket monsters are quote unquote ammo, you can use Squib Draw to gain more card advantage, and then it doesn't matter because at your end phase, you're going to be getting another rocket monster anyways, so you are basically getting a plus one in the form of a draw too. We also have Boot Sector Launch, which can either be a special summon two rocket monsters from your hand, or going second or any point after turn one can become something like a soul charge. You summon monsters from your graveyard equal to the amount of your opponent's monsters, but that way it can't exceed the number of your opponent's monsters. So for example, if my opponent controls three monsters and I control one, I can special summon two rocket monsters from my graveyard. But as well, the inherent Boral Monster synergy. There are three Boral Monsters, obviously Boral Load, Boral Sword, but then Boral Guard I want to talk about for a second because it could be much more relevant than people think. The reason why is because Boral Guard is perfect synergy for your rockets because obviously rocket monsters want to be destroyed so they can float. So then Boral Guard Dragon says, I can target something for your rockets and then as well Monster Reborn something back because you're constantly destroying your rocket monsters. So honestly, it's just perfect synergy right there. And that might honestly be a reason Boral Guard could be played in the future. Now, why is the deck bad? Well, the floating happens during the end phase, which obviously means that it's not really the fastest deck. If it just happened immediately, oh man, we're talking. But the fact that you have to wait until the end phase for them to float is is kind of lackluster and very unfortunate. All rocket monsters are terrible to draw without a link to target them. So if you draw an NS Rocket Dragon, for example, that means that you're not really going anywhere with that card unless you have other cards to follow up with it. You need a Boral monster in order to target the NS Rocket Dragon, for example, to make it that much more relevant. So the fact that you need that much in order to make NS Rocket Dragon that relevant, you need a link for to target it. Yeah, no, that's not really resource efficient, especially when the rocket monster doesn't help you get to that link four. And speaking of resource inefficiency, that's one other issue with this deck. Turboing out a link four can require quite an immense amount of resources. And so without something like, for example, a monster that can summon tokens, I mean, there are ways to do it. For example, scapegoat's a card that can summon four tokens, but it's limited. It's just my point 
is it's very inefficient in order to summon our Link for turn one along with another rocket monster. So what can we do to really solve the three core issues of all your rockets being bricks, the deck being too slow, and the resource inefficiency? Well, to start, we could have a card like a tour guide slash multi-faker for the archetype. Basically, something like that would be really good. Gazelle is a card you want to turbo out in Salamon Grades, for example. So if we had something similar that we could access very easily and very efficiently, then that could really help this deck be better. Then that could help the deck turbo out more cards and just more spam in general. But I think the big thing this deck could use is a Link 1. Honestly, if we got a Link 1 that could solve all three of these issues, it would probably be something like this. It requiring a Dark Dragon instead of specifically a Rocket Monster to make combos easier because we have cards like Dark Worm and Destrudo that could make getting out combos so much more efficient. For example, if we could just send Dark Worm with Dragon Shrine, that would be very efficient because then that would be an additional Dark Dragon body for the Link 1. And why do we need two bodies for the Link 1? Well, what I propose if this Link 1 were to solve everything would be a quick effect that can target another rocket for a neutral that turns into various pluses. Now that sounds like a bunch of mumbo jumbo, but what I mean is if we could get a rocket that will plus one by targeting a rocket monster, for example, by special summoning from deck or graveyard would be nice. Or a search, for example, that could also trigger rocket effects. That would just be so wonderful because in that case, you can not only trigger your rocket effects, they will do something to your opponent's field. Then in that case, you will also get a plus one or a follow up for the next turn. And then from there as well, you will just gain more advantage because the rocket will summon itself during the end phase. So I feel like a link one like that would seriously help the deck quite immensely. Obviously, there are plenty of other ways of solving the deck's issues, but if we're talking about one card to fix everything, a link one like this could potentially do that. Or it could even be something like summon a monster from Gray for an easy link to play, and then a link two that can target on your opponent's turn would be quite nice. This can also set up more squid draw plays. For example, squid draw again is a plus one by sacrificing tempo. So if we can do that efficiently and not really have to worry about it because we already have a link to that can target a rocket on the opponent's turn so making it a much better and more efficient play then honestly that would be great and one other thing this solves is resource efficiency as i've already stated because again it's just a link one and it will gain you more resources in the long run it requiring dark dragons as well can mean something like phantasme becomes even better because not only is phantasme already a good card because it's a dark dragon it would be able to be used for that link summon. So next, would this be a combo deck, a control deck, or a combo control deck? I would say that it would be probably a combo control deck similar to Salomon Great. However, it wouldn't be reliant on back row. It would be more reliant on the rocket's inherent disruption effect. And honestly, it would probably snowball as they disrupt the opponent and rockets float, rather than having graveyard effects like Salomon Grades. I don't see the combos being super crazy, but what I do see is these being very resource efficient combos that can easily set up one to two disruptions very easily. Now, one thing I do want to note is all the rockets are dragons, which means you have synergy with cards like the guard dragons and the hieratic links, etc. They are also dark which means you can use any dark related synergy card. So for example, a card like Allure of Darkness could technically be played depending on how combo oriented the deck is. And now on to the last point, which is the potential reprints the structure deck could have. So to start, we have Borload, which honestly I 100% think will be in the structure deck. We also have Borload Savage Dragon, which I'm not sure if this one will be in the structure deck potentially, but I don't see the structure deck focusing heavily on synchros, but I do see them more focusing on helping Rocket. And then lastly, we have the big one that everyone is talking about, Boral Sword. If Boral Sword were to be reprinted in the structure deck, the structure deck will probably be released in either September or October because of the Mega Tins. But obviously, we all know what Boral Sword does. It's an OTK machine. It's very expensive right now. I think it's like $80 to $100 right now. And so having a Boral Sword reprint would be amazing for this structure deck in general. And honestly, it 
if we did get that and the rocket archetype became tier one, then I could 100% see this structure deck being one of the best of all time because the Boros Sword reprint would put it on a different level. Overall, the potential of a tier one rocket deck is there. The Boros Sword reprint could be on the same level as the Ash Blossom reprint. There are many other ways for rockets to be tier one as well than what I've already stated with the Link 1. However, the structure deck could also flop completely. I mean, I'm not saying it will flop completely. There is, again, quite a lot of potential for this structure deck revolver to be amazing, but it could flop completely. But if we were to consider the amount of potential the structure deck has because of the reprints and the potential rockets being tier one, this could potentially be one of the best structure decks of all time if done correctly. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to support me further than just watching my YouTube videos, go down into the description and support me on Patreon. It helps out quite immensely. As well, if you guys want to talk to me further than just my YouTube comment section, go down into the description and join my Discord server. Thank you guys so much for watching, and with that, I hope to see you soon.